Okay, now we are talking about sampling distributions. So we're looking at, this is a little bit gross, but the acceptable level for insect filth in a certain food item is two insect fragments per 10 grams. A simple random sample of 10, 40 10 gram portions is obtained in a sample with a sample mean of 2.6 insect fragments per 10 gram portion. Um, okay. So why is the sampling distribution approximately normal? Because the sample size is large enough, 40 is a good sample size. A rule of thumb often you'll see is 30, but 40 is, is probably good enough to guarantee a approximate normality. Okay. What is the mean and the standard deviation if the sampling distribution, assuming mu equals 2 and sigma equals square root 2? This is to say the population has a standard, has a, a, a mean of 2 and a standard deviation of square root of 2. Well, that means that the sampling distribution will have a mean of 2 also. That will also be 2. And the standard deviation is going to be the sampling distribution will have a standard deviation of the population standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size. So that's going to come down to point, point two two four, rounded to three decimal places. Okay, now given that, now this is this is coming from the um, the central limit theorem, um, but what we can do now is put this into our probability calculator. If we have a a mean of two for this distribution and a standard deviation of 0.224, we can calculate these probabilities. The probability that um, we get a value greater than 2.6 for our sample mean is going to be quite, quite small. Rounded to four decimal places, that comes out to be 0 0.0037. So if we actually got 2.6, that is an extremely unlikely scenario assuming that the mean was 2. So this result is very, very unusual because this probability is quite small. When we go into hypothesis testing, we would call this a p-value. And the p-value is, in a sense, a measurement of how much the sample data uh, lends support to a null hypothesis. The null hypothesis in this case is that this company is meeting the standards that that are allowed um, and that probability is quite small which means um, that it's actually likely that they the population mean is not two it's something else so we would conclude that since the result is quite unusual it's reasonable to conclude the population mean is actually higher than 2, right? Um, it would be much more realistic if the population mean was, say, 2.5, something like that. Then a sample, a sample average of 2.6 would not be such an unusual observation.